Hello guys and welcome to episode 6 of Project Pathos. First of all, thank you very much for tuning into the episode. It is much appreciated. Now guys, as you can see, I am giving away a prize every single Friday now. And this episode, I'm giving away a Puma shirt, a Mexican Puma shirt. It's the last year's away shirt. And there's only one terms and conditions really that is a size large. It's a Nike large. So if, you, uh, if you're a large or even if you're a medium really because you are a tight fit then by all means enter this competition. Even if you want it as a memorabilia then again enter this competition. I'll be giving you a question at the end. The question will be something to do with this episode as well. So make sure that you watch the episode and it'll be an easy question. You comment below and then I'll be announcing the winner on Wednesday's episode. I'll be doing a live draw on Twitter as well, so you will see a live draw on Twitter on the Wednesday as well, the Wednesday morning. So I'll be announcing the winner on the Wednesday episode, and then again, there'll be a new prize next Friday. Now, these prizes can be from a shirt, as you can see, to to pin badges, to anything really, anything small, uh, anything big, it could be anything. So guys, remember, hit that subscribe button, make sure you don't miss out on free goodies or potentially winning free goodies. Without further ado, let's get straight into this episode. So guys, as you can see, we are currently six at the minute. Now, we last the last episode, we got we had a, a very good draw, a very good draw against Limassol, who are currently top of the league at the minute. But we had a, a pretty pretty poor outing, really, against Femagusta. We got beat 1-0 at home. So it was a bit of a... It was a bit gutted, to be fair. Um, but, listen, it is what it is. The, the game is... What we're looking to do is just get into that playoff spot, get into that, get into that uh, promotion for the Champions League or the Europa League. So, guys, as you can see, nothing's really changed on the right hand side. So, when it comes to player stats, uh, again, Hepburn Murphy is still top of the league. And, guys, this week as well, uh, actually yesterday, we played uh, Paralo Molina and we actually won two one in real life. So, and it was actually Hepburn Murphy who, who scored the winner as well, a little header at the in like the 87th minute. So absolutely fantastic. Well done, Hepburn Murphy. Well done, Velikari as well to score in the penalty, and well done, Pathos as well because they've been on a pretty poor run lately. But now what that day, what that did yesterday, they brought them from 10th to 7th position, and then we're looking to try and now get into that uh, that that safety that safety uh, the safety net really of the league, which is obviously six and above. So, guys. As you can see, yeah, I have had highest average rating is still Stefan Panic. Uh, most assists is still Navarone four. Um, best pass, best pass completion is still Stefan Panic with ninety three percent pass completion, guys. That is crazy. Uh, but certainly been with like nine ten games in as well, if not more as well with the friendlies. Uh, most player man of the matches is six players all with one at the minute. Uh, Aurelio with the yellow card is I uh, got the most yellow cards with five and the worst discipline of course with only that that one red card from Andy Bellacara. So guys, this is where we currently stand at the minute. Uh, just going to quickly show you the games that we're going to be playing today as well. So we are going to be playing Palermina and also we're going to be playing Olympia Nicosia again. Now the last time we played Nicosia, we won five one. It was at home, but we absolutely dominated them, and that is the one where Hector Murphy bagged an hat trick as well. So. Guys, without further ado, let's get to that first game against Pere Molina and let's see if we can win. It is away, but we're going to have a good, good shot at it. Okay, guys, we're now going to this away tie against Pere and I've changed it. I've, as you can see, guys, I've changed it completely up again, really. So we've got Dennis Rakos up front now. Uh, the reason why that is, is we just, I'm just going to give him another chance. You know, we, he's, he, he started off really well in, in episode four. He, he, he was, you know, he bagged a couple of goals. He did really well. Uh, we are going to play Kusik on that, uh, on that on that left. We're going to play Berrigade on that right. Four just behind him. We're playing Punching as a DLP. Um, and he is actually going to be captain today because, as you can see, there is a major, major change in that defensive centre, which is Sam Hutchison comes in for Orajori. Orajori is our, t our, is our captain, but... Uh, he needs a rest, so I've actually put him on the bench today. Um, so he's going to get a bit of a rest. So this is the team that I am going into the uh, the game against. So let's see how we can get on. Uh, as you can see as well, what I've done is I've, I've put um, Aurelio as an attacking wing back uh, to help out Barrigade, and I, I'm actually focusing on that right hand side as well in the early stages. Uh, apart from that, nothing really more to. Uh, we are kind of going at it really. Uh, we're going we're going to really go at it, but also um, the balance. We're going to stay balanced for the first 10, 15 minutes. Let's see how we get on, guys. Let's see how we get on. A lot more green now happening. Not not, not too many more concerns. Uh, let's see how we do against uh, Palomina. Should be a good game, this one. Should be a good game. First time we've played them as well, so uh, let's see how we get on. 
So guys, as you can see, the uh, the lineups are there. It's your time to shine, Vela Kairi, one of the fans said. Uh, we should be winning it. We should be winning it fairly comfortably as well. So I am going to say that to the whole team. Also, I'm going to uh, let them know that I have faith in them, without a doubt. That they can make the difference today. And as you can see, most of them are composed or seem motivated. So that's all good. Apparently, in the recent struggles, have them in 13th in the CETA Championship form table. Is this chance to pile on a misery? I hope so. I hope so. We should be we should be in a position to do that. Your ninth in the seat of championship form table after po after a poor recent run. Can you turn things around? Without a doubt, I'm going to stay positive. Of course I am. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's just see what I've got on. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. Here's Raykels, Dennis Raykels, out wide, pens it in, it comes into Kusik, Kusik again, wow guys, 25 seconds in, wow, Oris Kusik guys, 25 seconds in, second goal of the season, unbelievable start here from Paphos, unbelievable start, wowzers, great run there from Dennis Raykels, pass it back to Kusik, Kusik first chance, it's a defender, comes back out, second chance, all day long, straight in guys, 1-0, wowzers. Fourth minute in here is Dennis Rakels. Dennis Rakels, pass that away to Kusik. Kusik. Pass it back to Nerone 4. Nerone 4. Oh, Aurelio there. Their defender passed it straight into Aurelio's path. As you can see, guys, we're only seven minutes in and we are absolutely dominating this game stat wise. We are absolutely dominating it. We've had five shots, only one on target. So it's not that, that's why the XG is probably still quite low as well. Um, but wowzers guys we're uh, 30 minutes in little praises going out we're doing well you'll probably see him go greener a little bit because we are 1-0 up as well uh, Villarenos is on a yellow card we'll still stay balanced for a minute we'll stay balanced until till the uh, till half time really but yeah absolutely fantastic start here from Paphos here's a corner here Villarenos Villarenos whips it in and he gets knocked away here's Camilo Saez Saez to Villarenos Saez again what can he do passes it back to Aurelio Here's Aurelio. Aurelio going straight across the defensive line there. Here's punching, punching back out to Villacara. Good little ticky tacky football. This is Berrigade. What can Berrigade do? And it's a penalty, guys. Get in there. Kevin Berrigade to take the penalty. He made the penalty. And can he finish the penalty to make it 2 0 Paphos? And he does, guys. Keeper goes the right way. But the shot is too powerful. Kevin Berrigade makes it 2 0 Paphos. And we are cruising here away. Great finish there. Keeper, no chance. 2 0 Paphos. Get in. Here's Villarenos. Villarenos. Fedoru. Fedoru there with a the shot, and it's it's a lovely goal. It's a lovely solo goal as well. Okay, so it's 2 1. It's actually the, the, the result that was in real life recently. Actually, yesterday. Okay, guys, half time. I am very happy with that. Let's have a look at the stats. Now, you can't see the stats because my head's in the way, but uh, we've had nine shots, three on target, with an XG of 1.72. Off target, three. We knew that. Uh, I've just said that. <laughs> Clear cut chances is one. We've had 56% possession over, obviously, 44% of theirs. We've had three corners, four fouls, 85% pass completion, which is pretty good. Tackles won just over 50%. Not the best to be fair. And Edders won just below 50%. Again, not the best to be fair. But we will work on that. One yellow card each for each team. But guys, as you can see, we are currently 2-1 up, which is which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Let's get to that changing room. Let's give them a bit of a G up. Um, you've played well so far. I'm pleased how things are going. Keep it up. That's what I'm going to say. Um, I am delighted with your solid defensive work. I'm delighted with your solid playmaker work. I'm delighted with your final third work. Again, everyone looking absolutely motivated. That's all we require. Let's make it, make sure they go into the second half uh, with the same kind of spirit. Here's Villarenos with the throw in. Gets knocked away. It's Fiodoru. Fiodoru inside to Juan Philip. Juan Philip. And it's a great save there from Rudko. Rudko tries to save that corner as well, but he can't save it. Juan Philip with a corner here and it's get knocked away. Can Kusik pick it up? He does. It's two on two. It is two on two. Can we? Can he find Dennis Rekels in the centre there? Can he find Dennis Rekels in the centre? No, he doesn't. Okay, we're 52 minutes in. 
Let's have a quick pause and let's just have a quick look over everything. So we've had 10 shots, only three on target. We're doing okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to positive now for the next 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to change too much. Still focus on that right hand side. The the second the first goal came from that right hand side as well. Here's Aurelio. Aurelio with a long throw and their, their keeper Grayski uh, picks it up. Grayski picks it up there. He passes straight to Camelo Size or Size to Hutchinson. Hutchinson on a yellow card as well. So potentially bring Danny Will uh, uh, Ashley Williams on in a minute. Keep saying Danny Williams just because of the old player. It could, what a ball that is. Dennis Rakels. Dennis Rakels is in and that is unlucky there from Dennis Rakels. What a what an absolute route one ball that was from uh, Rudko there. Okay, 65 minutes in. We're going to make that change and the change is going to be Hutchinson and it is probably going to be Ashley Williams. We could bring on um, uh, Arajore but we are going to rest him. There's no need. We're 2-1 up. You know, potentially we're gonna we're gonna probably get at least a point now, hopefully. So yeah, it's gonna be Ashley Williams, a solid defender going straight in there. So we're sixty six minutes in, made that change. Everything looking okay, but what we're gonna do now as well, we're gonna look at we're seventy four minutes in, probably look at Berrigate. Berrigade is playing well to fair, but he's he's absolutely shot. So very uh, good condition is gonna come off and we are gonna bring on Marcelo Torres to go on that AMR AMR position. Um, and then let's uh, let's freshen it up up front. Let's freshen it up by putting um, Hepburn Murphy on. So it's a double substitution there. Seventy fifth minute in. Let's see if we can. Let's just do a little encourage shout. Try and keep all this possession. We're doing well possession wise. Fifty two percent. We they're coming back slightly. Just need to concentrate a little bit. And we've got a highlight here as well. I really also say Carla. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Here's Juan Philippe, Juan Philippe, and it's a solid defending there from Villarenos. Hepburn Murphy picks it up. Here's Navarro four, four to Punchin, Punchin back to Velicari. Velicari miss loses out the ball, but Aurelio picks it up. Aurelio on that right hand side in that in that wing back position, doing what he does best there. Puts it inside to Torres. Torres inside. He comes into Oris Kusick again. His second goal of the game. His third goal of the season. Get in there, Oris Kusick. What a lovely goal that was again, guys. What he, he's we found that position where we, we're pulling it back and Kusik is peeling off his, uh, Kusik is peeling off his man as you can see here, he pushes them in takes him out and gets in there or it's Kusik how many times have we, well we've seen it three times guys this season he peeling off his man in that penalty box and he makes it three one Paphos oh, get in there guys that puts us in fifth position as you can see in the league table and that is that guys get in there what a win there for Paphos against Paramelina Paramelina and um Absolutely fantastic, guys. As you can see, Oris Kusik, 8.1. Only four, only, uh, sorry, only f uh, six players actually over the seven mark in ratings. But to be fair, everyone else was kind of up there pushing to them sevens. Uh, Rudko, absolutely fantastic key, key uh, moments. Obviously, made a, he made a very good save in that first half as well. Uh, Oris Kusik, absolutely fantastic. Guys, what a win that was. Now let's get to that next game. But before we get to the next game, I'm going to show you a little bit more information about the team. So guys, I've come to the page where I look at the most, which is actually the team view. Uh, now my team view is, is customized to how I have my team view. And you know what? I'll actually put the link below if you want to have this custom view and you can download it and use it however you want. Um, but as you can see, I do have the overall happiness in there and you can see it is mostly green, but there is one player there that's content. Now, obviously I need to look at that and why I believe that it is Marcelo Torres. Now the guy who's on loan from uh, Boca Juniors, so if I go to Marcelo Torres, I can find out actually why he is content uh, at the minute. So if you go to overview, then go to happiness. Um, you can see in his plan there, just above my head actually, that he's, he expects to play in the next game against Olympian Nicosia. Uh, and, he, and he's really concerned about the amount of first team football that he's playing. So what I am going to do there, I am going to play him in the next game against Nicosia. Try and keep him happy, because he's a good player anyway, there's no doubt about it. Try and keep him happy and... Let's see how we get on, really. Let's see how we get on in the next game. And then hopefully then, that that orange bit then in that team view will then become green and make everyone happy, which means better moral, better playing time, and obviously better results. So let's see how we get on. So guys, as you can see, we are now at the tactic stage of the next game against Olympia Nicosia. Now, we are playing them at home. So that's a good start. And we're also going to go in attacking. Now, I've looked at the Nicosia previous games and I've got a feeling they are currently at eighth at the minute in the league. So they are kind of a similar kind of standard to us. But I believe that from what I've seen and what the formations that they're playing, we are going to go in with the same formation that we played in the last game. Now, as you can see, there's some major changes here. And the major changes are simple. Uh, 
Villarenas is out now through suspension, so now Kavida comes in that left back position, and I've actually put Aurelio and Kavida as full back attackers. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make them overlap uh, Torres and Kusic. As you can see, Torres now is in that right hand position because he, he is asking for that really at the minute. And as you can see, there's a major change up top as well. So Dennis Rakels comes out, and Rushin Edburn Murphy comes straight in there. He, he currently still our leading goal scorer. Uh, just be it just in front of Kusick punching the Velikari still solid in that center so that little free that little four that little free triangle there of four punching and Velikari still stay the same so guys let's see how we get on in this next game against Olympia Nicosia so let's do this guys here we go we're at home against Nicosia currently fifth in the table at the minute just behind Doxa and just in front of Salamina we are playing attacking and we're doing well. We've uh, only one on target out of the three at the minute. And there's a first highlight, guys. And it's a highlight to Nicosia here. And it's Nicosia who gets past... Oh, he got past Kavita there. Very Too easy, to be fair. But we'll, we'll let him off this time. Everyone's still quite happy at the minute. Let's do a little uh, encourage shout. A little encourage shout. A few more green faces coming in there. A few more morals. Here's Aurelio with a long throw. Aurelio, long throw. Keeper makes a fumble. Comes out to Punchin! Punching there with a lovely, like, kind of half volley. Oh, it was very unlucky there from Jason Punching. Okay, XG is not the best at all. Let's just pause it there, mate, just before half time. Let's see if we can let's see if we can nick something just before half time. So we'll go attacking, and we're going to uh, we're going to uh, uh, we're just going to shoot on. Going to hit the crosses early, shoot on sight. Just go a little bit more direct with that uh, tempo going a little bit higher as well. Just see if we can nick something just in the next two or three minutes. Okay, can we nick this ball here? Because we're pushing up higher, so we will hopefully could nick this ball. And we do. It is punching. Punching to four. Four to Velikari. Velikari to four. Four with a long shot there. And it's a great save from the Olympian Nicosia keeper. And it's a corner here to Paphos. And they whip, we whip it in. He gets knocked away. And they kind of uh, boot it clear. Boot it clear, they do. Boot it clear. <laughs> so, guys, 0-0 at half-time. Uh, that tactic didn't really work. They were just trying to pressure him a little bit. We, we got a couple of shots off, but it didn't really happen. So, let's get to the dressing room. Let's tell the lads that we, we can... I expect a bit more from him. I'm not going to say I'm not happy. Uh, we can still win this. Let's keep working hard. And I think it will. I think the, the, uh, the result will come. Um, we weren't that bad. I have faith in you. Just try and try and G him up a little bit. As you can see, the motivations are now coming into there. A few few little uh few little compose, but most of them are motivated, do seem motivated. Let's go back to the positive we'll go back to positive instead of attacking now. Here's Kavida to punching. Punching Kavida to Kusik. Kusik inside to Camelo Size. Camelo Size unfortunately passes it straight to their keeper. Not their keeper, their their central defender. Can we nick that ball? Kavida there, great defending from Kavida. Is Jason punching? Punching to four. Four to Kavida. Kavida. Kusik. Kusik inside to four. Great ball there to Torres. What can Torres do? Pass it inside. And it is. It's Rushin Epburn Murphy again. Get in there, you little beauty. Makes it 1 0 Paphos just after half time. Hepburn Murphy, great football there. Kusik into four. Four. Finds Marcelo. Uh, finds Punching. Who finds Marcelo Torres on that right. Marcelo Torres, more or less the first time. Um, first time. Kind of pull back to Rushing it for Murphy. Hepburn Murphy getting there makes it seven this season so far. And it's away. Can Kusik pick it up? He can. 51 minutes in. Kusik, it's it's two against two. Can Kusik get past him? He does. Kusik inside to Torres. Torres! Get in there. That 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 worked. It worked. The Torres worked. Now I seen it with concern. I played him. Happy days. It, I suppose it's... Is it good management? We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's see if we win the game. But great little ball there from Kusik. Absolute fantastic. Great first time. Like our folly again from Marcelo Torres. Get in there. And it's 2-0 Paphos, guys. That pushes up straight back into third again. So we've gone from seventh to third, guys. Come on, the boys. Come on, we can do this. Docs are currently winning at the minute. 2-1 against uh, Kalmatitas. Uh, Kamiatosa, Kamiatisa, Kamiatisa, sorry. Okay, let's uh, let's pause it there. Seventy fourth minute in. We're doing really good, guys. We're two 0 up. There's nothing else we can do. Let's bring Velikari off. We'll bring Velikari off for Stefan Panic, and we'll bring off Aurelio for Zay Carlos. Two pretty straight swaps there, to be fair. 
Uh, 74th minute, and I tell you what, we'll make a triple substitution, and it will be Kusick just for just for condition reasons, really. Uh, and we're going to bring on uh, and uh, we're going to bring on Dennis Rakels. Dennis Rakels on that left hand side. Get in there, guys. Two 0 up, Pafas here. Could be a double win, guys. A double win episode. That'd be amazing. Certainly after the last episode when we drew and lost, and we lost a game, a game where really we should be winning. Okay, absolutely fantastic, guys. Little praise going out. It looks like we are going to win this game now. 89th minute. Get in there. This is this is looking good, guys. It's looking good. And it is as well, guys. That is it. Get in there. Full time. 2-0 against Olympia Nicosia. Get in there. That will do us all day long. Guys, as you can see, you can't see it fully with my head again in the way. But we've had 14 shots with 9 on target. And XG is, the XGs are quite low at 1.1 and for, uh, 0.43. Possession-wise, 52% to us. Obviously, today, 48. Passes completion, 89%. That is in 400 passes. 89% in 400 passes. That is absolutely fantastic. 73% tackles one and 42% headers one, which, again, is not the best. But we have got quite a small side up top, to be fair. Um, pun, you know, with Punchin, Panic is quite tall actually. Uh, Navarro four is quite small. Torres is quite small. Uh, ben Murphy is not the tallest. Uh, Dennis Rakel isn't the tallest as well. So it's just more or less the defence that are tallest. So that's why I probably not winning that much. Uh, but guys, absolutely fantastic! A two nil win there against Lippin Nicosia. Let's get to the changing room. Let's give the guys a bit of a G up. Well done, guys. That was a very good win. A very good win. I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with the two wins at the minute. Absolutely fantastic. As you can see, a lot of green on there. Absolutely beautiful, and what that does, guys, just to summarize this save at uh, this this episode is that puts us into fourth position because Lenarcos must have just scored a last minute goal there. Uh, well, a, a late, late goal. Well, they did 63 minutes in, but as you can see, guys, uh, absolutely fantastic. That puts us in fourth position, guys. We are in that spot at the minute in the uh, qualification spot, which is good. We're in a better position than we was on the last episode, which is even better. Now, guys, the question is this the question is to win. This shirt. Who was the player who scored two goals in our first game today? Was it Hay at Burn Murphy? Was it Bree Orich Kusick? Or was it C Karen Berrigade? Guys, comment below. Was it A, B, or C? What I will do, I will I will announce the winner on Twitter on Wednesday morning just before uh, the next episode on that Wednesday. I'll also put it in that Wednesday episode as well, and then there'll be a new prize next Friday. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. If you do like the video as well, remember to hit that like button as well. Guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.